All right, cats and kittens, we are live. Hi, everyone. Um, so it's been an interesting day. Um, had a few fun issues pop up, but having a special uh, episode today, I have the most amazing guest. Uh, it's Everybody loves her. Everybody knows who she is. Her name is Jen Sturger. I have uh, bullied my way into her house, apparently. Um, <laughs> and uh, we're going to be doing something super special because today is a day I feel that is pretty much an international holiday. It's it's technically should have been the first day of Comic-Con. And everybody's hearts are a little broken, mine included. And so we figured, you know what? Why not just have some fun? Jen's gonna throw some makeup on me. Uh, we're gonna turn me into one of my favorite characters. I'm sorry, yes, you all know who it is. It is absolutely, uh, it's gonna be my favorite Disney villain, it's Ursula. So let's bring her on, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. I'm only sitting a few feet away from her, but we had to figure out a way to make this technology work. And we did. It's funny because I can hear you like two, two feet away and then it's in my ear echoing. Is it bad for you guys? Because that's all that matters. Yeah. Because if you guys can stand it, if it's not echoing for you, it's all good. We might have to turn this microphone off and just work off of me just standing near you. I mean... Be fair. It's probably a really good option. It's probably a really good option. Leaving the studio, studio. guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is what happens when you uh, do something new and uh, I'm live. I'm live. Well, we knew we were going to be troubleshooting. Always. Can they still hear everything? You guys are all good? Can you, can you comment in? Let me know. I haven't seen anything yet. So apparently, we are all good as so. well. Baseball season. It's baseball season. It is everything. Everybody is happy right now. So that's really, really nice. Okay, everybody's in there. Okay, cool. So everything's good audio wise? Okay. <laughs> blame CLD. I'm not going to blame the Paul. You're my favorite live event husband oh, ever. <laughs> everybody loves Oh, I think like it's not even like the viewers, it's just the same people we hang out with all the time. Basically, yeah, I think with every now and then I get like somebody new that is like, yeah, what is going get, on? Did you get lost? How did you get here? I'm like, lost well, in So, the show is Movies, Music, and Mayhem. Um, This is the mayhem part. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the other side. Mayhem part. Um, uh, Jen's cat has decided to love on me and I am so happy because I haven't touched any furry creature and like well there's more where that came from around here just oh me. yeah oh, all the kisses. Yes. shut up I'm not that way. it's not that bad no she's got cats she doesn't have so many she's also has like a ridiculously attractive husband so there's yeah. no like so we're gonna get started on this look that we're gonna yes. do because I wanted to be able to I wanted to be able to do something to kind of make us feel like in the spirit of Comic-Con because one of the things that I love the most about Comic-Con is obviously the the pageantry of it, the costumes, the dress up, like I love creating characters and that's something that I don't feel like people know enough about in terms of how much I do at the Schmodown in creating some of the cosplay that goes on there. She does so, so. much. I don't think I, I literally, the only time I think I see you out of the green room is if you have an interview to do. Well, that's just because I don't interact with people. Well, I mean, <laughs> to, to be fair, I know the hooligans in the Schmodown quite well, so I, I don't blame you for that at all. It's actually just, uh, I have a lot of social anxiety. So unless I mm -hmm. am, and I just have, energy reserve. So it's like, unless I am actively working on a match, I'm usually trying to get notes from Christian or I'm trying to <laughs> Wait, get Christian ready. gives notes? Oh yeah. <laughs> Christian, oh yeah, no. No, no, no. no. Never. It's totally on the fly. Nothing prepared at all. Um, but no, we, we go over storylines and things like that and make sure that I give him everything that he needs out of the interview and then he trusts me to create the rest of the chaos essentially so but all I'm putting on her right now whenever you're doing any kind of like a cool cosplay look or honestly anytime I'm doing any makeup for like TV I like to use a uh, primer and so this particular one is a pore filler it makes the whole palette I know the guys are like oh I have no idea what you're talking about so it makes the the skin look a lot more flawless when you take pictures and when you're on HD camera because it's so unforgiving. So anyways, is any of this interesting to anyone here at all? 
We'll find out. I've also spent, you know, nine summers destroying my skin on Warp Tour. Oh, um, really? So this is, guys, you really do pay for your 20s when you uh, get older. It for shows, sure. It shows been awful ways. Um, for, for sure. But you do do a lot for the Shmodan. And, like, I don't think everybody knows, like, what was one of my favorite looks I think that I saw you do was uh, you did uh, Hella for Rachel. That was fun. That was amazing. Um, and then there was and it was it was a lot of fun too because for Rachel to let me do that look on her, you have to understand like that took building up a lot of trust with Rachel because <laughs> she's not being on makeup in general. Yeah. Well, she's also like stunning bare faced. So I mean, it doesn't. Yeah, she doesn't hurt. Need it. Yeah. She doesn't need any of it. So like she literally does belong in the Hobbit just because like she can just go around fresh faced and gorgeous and Oh for sure. Like mm -hmm. that not only is that her happy place, it's where her soul belongs. Sure, uh, <laughs> I'm sure this is a kitchen towel. We don't have to tell my husband. Oh, for it's sure. It's fine. So we do have a uh, a stream lab. Somebody says, uh, Jen is a big listener of your show, Swings and Misses. I enjoy the banter. Oh, thank you. So uh, you much. have your co host. I was wondering if you had a <laughs> I was wondering if you had a quarter or nickel for how many times Cody and Eddie annoy you. How much money would you have right now? I wouldn't need to work ever again. <laughs> It'd be amazing. It'd be so amazing. Um, <laughs> Someone in there said, you know, be careful. We're in the same room. One of the, the reasons, like one of the things I said to Rachel about this was we had to make sure that we were both quarantined. I, of course, have been quarantined this whole time um, because I have no immune system. Mm -hmm. So I'm on all kinds of like immunostimulants to make sure that my immune system works because uh, I don't have one. And and I, have I haven't seen house. humans in forever besides my co-host. So... <laughs> Um, being smart, being safe, but that was part of the whole thing is it's, I think when things start to open up are starting to open up guys, the biggest thing I can tell you guys is to build a circle of people that you trust, that you can be in your bubble. You can be in your baseball bubble, you know, mm -hmm. and you are only as smart as the dumbest person in your bubble. So make sure the people that are in your bubble are smart and don't go out and party or go out to clubs or do anything that. Yeah. Is going to risk the integrity of the bubble. Basically, if you're not going to have them on the, your zombie apocalypse team, don't have them in your uh, quarantine yeah, I had breaking to stop, bubble. I had to stop watching The Walking Dead because I got really mad at this one scene where they were all trying to escape, and the little kid goes, Mom! Oh, and I was like, dead. we're done here. Yep. You just killed everybody. We're done here. That's why you don't have children. I can't, well, no. I want to watch a show about intelligent people that are surviving the apocalypse. Right. Because sometimes... Their the characters are required to make dumb decisions for the sake of moving storylines around. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So all I'm doing right now, guys, is just giving myself a base so that I can put colors and stuff on, on top of this. She's bringing me to zero, guys. <laughs> so I'm going to work really hard. I'm going to get the, uh, the red out because she and I both have a little bit of rosacea. So you want to make sure you, cover, you camouflage that so you have a real clear palette to work with. Now, have you been watching movies that you haven't seen before during quarantine since you've been at home like me? As much as I, I honestly, I've gone down more a television wormhole. Oh. I'm really obsessed with Doom Patrol right now. I need to start that. I got through The Witcher. I loved The Witcher. <laughs> uh, I thought uh, Yennefer's transformation was absolutely amazing. Oh. If you haven't seen The Witcher, it's worth it just, I mean... It's got to be Mark and Draco's favorite television show, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, I think when that came out, I think I texted or messaged and Draco, and I was like, I miss you. Yeah. Um, so I loved I loved The Witcher. It was fantastic. And you can tell that that show was made by women. Like, yes. You can tell the story arcs and the way that it's shot, like, and not just because, you know, Henry Cavill is like, well, Stunning. that's part of the problems that I'm actually having with um, one show that I'm watching, which is one of the problems I'm having is with um, Penny Dreadful. Oh. City of Angels. Okay. So the issue that I'm having with it is it feels like a show about Latinos written by white people. And it's just one of those things where I'm like, you're insulting me. <laughs> and I don't know what my genetic makeup is because I haven't done a 23 yeah. me yet. Um but you're insulting me. So I'm like, I can't imagine how my Latina friends feel about this. So 
Yeah, I always I mean, feel, I I always feel I'm, super uncomfortable when I see those and I'm like, guys, not all white people hate everyone. I swear to God. So bad. Like, so bad. Um, so I've been just trying to get, get over the fact that they cast a white girl in a role that was clearly supposed to be for a Latina actress. That stuff kind of bothers me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, other than that, like mostly been focusing on television shows. I got into Doom Patrol and I really enjoy it. Um, movies, I'm trying to think. My husband's been trying to get me to watch Predator. Ooh. I've never okay. seen Predator. I hear quotes from it all the time. Um, but wouldn't know it if like, I mean, I just know nothing about it. But it's, it just seems like not, it doesn't seem like something I would enjoy. It's worth a watch. Why, why a watch? Just, I mean, it, just even one, just, just, it's worth at least one watch just because it is so iconic. It is, you know, like you said, quoted all the time. Um, it also opens up the door to laugh at your, laugh at your, uh, I was going to say, it feels very like machismo yet. That's why I'm like, oh, it is, but I think, I think it, it also, since that movie opens the door, uh, you know, generations later for things like pricing. Really? Yeah. Because it has that, like, is there that much comedy in it? I, I mean, maybe is not it intentionally. <laughs> I, I mean, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ryan, it is like you've seen mud on drywall for the four pages. So, Jen Training Rachel and Vic Health Support and Todd Cook. Um, Oh, uh, Chelsea Kirkland is one of the CPA girls. Yeah. Um, and she is very pale. Oh. So she has that, like, like that beautiful, yeah. like, coarse light skin yeah. that's, like, not, you know, see through. It's just, like, yeah. pale and beautiful and, like, 16th century milkmaid white. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, she's stunning. No, we're going, we're going for something a little, uh, a little riskier. I'm like, I should mean, I have told them what we're doing, or should I just like let them figure it out as we go along? Or like, you told them. Oh, you did. Okay. I mean, to be fair, somebody actually guessed it. I was like, we're going cosplay, and someone was like, okay. Someone's, there, someone was like, please don't do Ursula, and I'm like, why? Mm, because I talk about her all the time. Oh, because she's not a villain. I have like legit a TED talk prepared for that if I need to. Oh really? Ever. Yeah. She, she's my favorite villain, and I don't think she's a villain because she's just a businesswoman. So I'm just counteracting some of that red and like you counteract red and purple with orange and green. I don't really feel like putting green because it'll mess with the white that I'm doing. So, and the white's just the base before I go start adding purple and stuff to it. And then I got like paint brushes and stuff I got to get out. By the way, I've never done her makeup, like normal makeup. No, nope. this, this could be a total crap shoot, but I feel like, I feel like I'm generally competent. So... <laughs> And I told her she can't screw up. Like, you can't really mess this up oh, too badly. Can. Oh, we can. Trust me. Yeah, but it'll, it'll still be fun, though. Challenge right. accepted. <laughs> this could be an absolute disaster. Could be. So, but it'll make for a great episode. <laughs> so funny. Oh, by the way, hi, Mom. I know you're out there listening somewhere. Got to give the shout-out to the mama at some point because she always listens and everybody That's loves so her. so sweet. She, yeah, she came on before Ellis because she literally, like, I told her that Ellis was coming on. And I think my mom has like the cutest little crush on him because who wouldn't? Mm -hmm. um, and so she's like, can I come in and say hi? I'm like, you can come on the episode and say hi for sure. So that's so funny. Yeah. I think one of the things that I miss the most during quarantine right now, look, I know we're all like lonely and stuff, but I think, I think I truly underestimated the companionship that I got from doing Schmodown every week. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I knew those people were my friends and I loved spending time with them, but like, on a different level. Yeah. You're like, oh, these are my Saturday friends. Yeah. Well, it was like, it was like an appointment hang. You know what I yeah. mean? Um, it was like guaranteed, hey, I will see you this day. And I've talked to a lot of them during this time, but it still isn't the same, you know, yeah. um, as like hanging out. Uh, and also complaining about each other, which is so much fun. Oh. <laughs> I don't really get involved in any of that. I just mind my own business. Mm -hmm. I, um, I hang out with Shannon like on socially distanced walks because she works in healthcare. So mm -hmm. um, we're always like super careful in terms of like, all right, well, we've got mask on and we're outside, but. I have the cutest picture. I'm pretty sure I sent it to you. It's of you and Shannon like snuggled up together in a chair at a taping. Mm -hmm. 
I, I can't remember who's sitting on whose lap because it's literally just like a lump of love. Uh -huh. It's so cute. That's us, man. Mm -hmm. And we we were friends. Like I was one of the reasons that Shannon got brought into it. I mean, I was the reason that Shannon and Mike started dating. Yep. So you and PJ being jerks at somebody. <laughs> oh no, that, no, no, it was me. To Mike, yeah. It was <laughs> me. It was legit me. Because I had told Mike that this hot girl I knew was interested in him. Total lie. Um hey, sometimes you gotta grease the wheels. And I was like, yeah, I was like, she's going to come with me to Jay's birthday party. And I was like, don't anybody, don't anybody tell like, like, don't tell him that she doesn't know who he is, you know? <laughs> um, so Shannon comes to the birthday party and like, I told Mike, I was like, don't wear any superhero stuff. Please don't embarrass me. Like just wear like a nice Henley. Like we had outfits approved and everything. <laughs> so then um she shows up and like she's not paying him any extra attention even though she's supposed to like him and i have to keep going to mike fine it's fine, fine. you're fine you're good you're good <laughs> and um and then being a good friend i had to get this i don't really drink a lot so like but i drink enough that i got like real sick and so i was like oh they had to take care of me together mm -hmm. so their meet cue involved me laying in the back of mike's car trying not to vomit <laughs> I'm like it was quite the meet cute. Yeah, that is a great friend. I'm such a good friend. So <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. Because I, I like, I because I never met them before they got together. Like I've only known because I've only been involved for just about two years now. Mm -hmm. So like, I think they met. When, when just, they met like six months before I joined up. I think. Wow, I am white. You're white. Wow, and guys, I'm the female powder. <laughs> oh, where's my lightning power? Um, I'm gonna have to do your chest later, but let's <laughs> look at us started. No, I don't know if I've heard that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough paint to be honest. Um, we'll see. We'll do with what we got. <laughs> yes. it's a lot. It's a lot of a. Oh, God, I, I told somebody one time that uh, this girl that I was on tour with, just beautiful tiny ballerina. She was wearing this dress, and I was like, I mean, that would be a shirt. She's like, yeah, but you've got boobs. And I'm like, yeah, but it's a lot of real estate to cover. She goes, she looked down at her chest. She's like, oh, I'm homeless. Uh -huh. I was like, one of the best things. I was laughing so hard. So it's a little different than if I was using something that was flesh colored because I don't want it to uh, get into her hair too much. Um, let's see. Can you go ahead and give me, like, a cheekbone face? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Like sucking your cheeks just a little bit so I can see where I'm going. So we're gonna pull that in there. And then we're gonna do this in here. Bam. And then I'm gonna have to blend this out <laughs> a lot. So this is just like giving me like my basic wow. What? No, I saw it. Oh, it's crazy. That's, that's you shouldn't be looking. This is, is kind of like if you looked in the middle of getting a boob job. Like, it's not going to be pretty, <laughs> you know? You just got to go with it and trust that I know what I'm talking about. Miss Movies, I don't know if she's here because she'd been like, oh, I want to watch. I'm sure um, she'll pop in at some point. Oh, but, what? <laughs> I don't know. Ollie, Ollie looked down and saw Eric say, your husband is right. About what? I don't know. <laughs> Eric, what, 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 what's he right about? We don't know where we're right. I don't know what we're right about. But anyways. Um, but she wants to watch. Yeah. But Miss Movie wanted to see how I was going to do this. So I was like, oh, stop by. Yeah. It could be uh, Ursula. It could be the bad guy from Power Rangers. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this could go sideways super fast. Dude, it's going to be entertaining no matter what. That was a very large seagull that just... Was that what it was? <laughs> oh, yeah. It, like, has such a huge shadow. It was like, fuck, is that a pterodactyl? <laughs> um... <laughs> So we're going to drag this down, drag this down. But well, Miss Movies can attest to, I've done her makeup when she did oh God, uh, Harley so Quinn. Oh, I forgot about and that one. That, that was, was nice Mike. That was a lot of work. A lot of work. I mean, you also did her Zorba, She's, right? Uh, her, here's, um, what is it? Zora? No. Zorba? Zola? Zola? The girl from um, Glow. Glow. Yeah. I can't remember her name to see my life. She's um, a Russian of the kids. Yes. Um, <laughs> so. 
But yeah, I did her makeup too. And um, it's, a, it's a process. I actually had a test run on her Harley Quinn. The first time I did it, it was too modest. <laughs> like it was just too like... It was good in front. Like no, it was just, just it was it was too it was like if Harley Quinn had a day a day look, a daytime <laughs> look. It was just not Harley Quinn at work. Dark enough. Yeah, exactly. When they're like, oh, you should um, work appropriate makeup. Yeah. Um, that's what it was. And it's so funny. I have a. I keep going back and like watching old matches to study. So Everybody look at that. so it's turned this side so they can see what I'm doing. Oh my! So all this is being blended. And it's going to blend into her hair. But see how it's already looking like you can kind of see the jaw structure coming out in it. Because that's what you're going to need. Okay. Told you. Trust me. I mean, like I said, I still have don't have a guarantee this is going to come out. But. <laughs> but that's the fun of it. It'll be fun. Makeup is supposed to be fun. I wonder if your mom's like sitting here while like going, what is she doing? This is not the weirdest thing she's watched me do. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean... Let's see. I bleached my sis. My little sister is younger than me by four years. I think she was like 12 or 13 when she asked me to bleach her hair. I had no idea how to do it. She ran around the house screaming because I didn't know you're not supposed to put it on the roots. Oh, that's bad. And uh, it was her choice. She told me to do it. I mean, she's four years younger, but I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I will do what you tell me. She's like, okay. And I was like, fine. She was very... Uh, you don't say, you, you didn't say no to my little sister. Mm -hmm. She just, you did, you did what she wanted because she's that strong and to put it nicely. But uh, what else, mom? <laughs> you can get in the comments. What else did I do that was stupid? Is um, anything going on in the comments right now? Uh, let's see. Yes, which are so good. What's, what do they say about, oh, old guard. I watched that the other night. Ooh. What's, what's their take on it? Female empowerment, strong people of color, written by a straight white dude. Yeah. I had no idea. But there were definitely some lines in there that I was like, that's kind of like when um, if you're a straight woman mm -hmm. and you watch Sex in the City, mm -hmm. Sex in the City is like, there's like a rhythm to the words where it's almost like, for me, it reminded me a lot more of like hanging out with my gay friends. Yes. Like my gay guy friends. Like that's how they talk. That's not how I speak, you mm -hmm. know? And so I'm like, well, at least Samantha. I feel like Samantha was originally supposed to be a gay man. I'm pretty sure Samantha is a gay man. You, have to know you know what I mean? But like enjoying it. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's what I think personally. I was like, that's how I always felt when I watched Sex in the City. I was like, we don't talk like this. <laughs> it doesn't sound like we're rhyming, you know, like where we're like making up puns all the time. I mean, I do do that. If you watch my show, I do that all the time. I was about to say, hold up a second. <laughs> I do that all the time, actually. Yeah, I think I've okay, dad. So I think I've dad joked and punned let both of my roommates just out of. They're just like done with me at this point. They're like, this needs to be over so you can get out of the house and tell other people these terrible, so terrible jokes. Fun fact: This makeup. I've been wanting to do Ursula makeup for such a long time, and it's because I was begging Nick Mundy to be Ursula. <laughs> Hear me out. But doing Tournament of Nerds, I wanted him to argue as Ursula. I was like, I 100% can transform you into Ursula. It would be so funny. Oh, my God. Um, it hasn't happened yet, but obviously. If it does, I need you to let me know that that's happening so I can make sure and be there for it. Because so, that's so funny. amazing. I, the only Tournament of Nerds that I got to go to was the one. You were so sick. It was the Christmas oh, was one this year. I was legit dying on stage. Oh, you you got a little I drunk on stage from I think you were like that was, that was my uh, Nyquil. <laughs> that was Nyquil. That was bad. Yeah, I was sitting next to uh, uh, to Ashley Robinson and uh, Jason Inman, and Ashley's literally sitting next to me. She's like, "Is Jen okay?" I'm like, "Dude, she's so sick." <laughs> I was like dying in the, in January. All right, let's see. I gotta be like way more delicate of delicate in here. We're not usually used with me. Because you try to like. I still always try to keep even like my villain cosplay. I still want it to be pretty. Well, yeah. Um, So it's always the goal. Jesus, my hands are a mess. Oops. 
interesting. When was the last time you completely disconnected and just dance partied in here? Never dance partied. What? I don't even know what that means. Well, you just crank up the music and oh, just dance around like no one's watching. I don't, because I'm nervous, because I have cameras and stuff set up in my home now, because <laughs> we're working out of our, our home. This is our studio. Like, this is our home, but, like, this is our studio. In case you're wondering, if you watch my show and you and you know what our setup is. So it's like, there's cameras and stuff that are always set up in my house, and I'm always scared that someone can remote access it. Oh, that's I'm so like, sad. that'd be so weird. But, you know, I dance party with Kevin. He's a good little boy. My little dog, Kevin. He's figuring out life. It's really cute. He's so sweet. He's so sweet. Has he gotten any bigger? A little bit. But, I mean, he's going to stay small. He's so stubbly. He's going to stay small, you know. He's in the comments. Anything going on fun? Oh, Predator. He was saying your husband's right about Predator. Oh, he's right about Predator. Okay. Yeah, I guess. We'll see. I don't know. It's a, it's a, my husband likes some weird movies. Like he likes, what's that movie with Val Kilmer where he's like a genius? It's something genius. Real genius? Yeah. He wants me to watch that. And I'm like, I don't it's, think that's my thing. It's funny, but I mean, it's also, it's like an 80s staple. I don't think it's my thing. Mm. That's fair. We had somebody else come in. Um, Steve, Rachel, I hope your week was great. Almost Friday, Jen is fabulous. She was great with video Drew. I love her post-game interviews and missed her in January when I went to the first Brooklyn Schmodown. Hopefully meet you guys someday. Spread I? love, rock on, Steve. You're the best. I forget um, why I wasn't. I was, must have been doing something for AEW. You were sick. You weren't feeling well because that was uh, that's when I went to Cleveland for AEW and you weren't able to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. That's right. I got real sick at the beginning of the year. Yeah. I did meet a Sammy Guevara. Oh, fun. That was fun. <laughs> Sweet boy. He's back. Yep, he's back. That was fun. Yeah, people don't realize, like, I was up filming last night until, hmm, God, let me think. Like 1230? It makes for a long week. It really does. Jake says, salute to these amazing talent, amazingly talented and strong women. Oh, Jakey, sweet baby. I love you. Jake Yakavada. Just the best. <laughs> you guys are in the same room. Hell yeah, be safe. Spread fun, good times. Thank you, Steve. To get, I need to have another brush. <laughs> yeah, my hair did get super light. I did a uh, another bleach bath on it mm -hmm. to try and get it as light as possible, and I was like, wow. Like maybe I should stop at this point. <laughs> So this is where I'm going to stop for now on like the face part and I'll come back to it like after I worked on the, um, the eyes and stuff because I just know I'm going to have a lot of cleanup. Oh yeah. In terms of like fallout and stuff. And it's coming along. I'm starting to see what I was like working on. This is where we are right now guys. <laughs> it's still crazy town. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's still full on crazy town. I mean, as amazing as she is, she is a bit insane. Like, who wouldn't be if you're treated that terribly your whole life? I'm not going to do my TED Talk, guys. Don't worry. What? TED oh, my TED Talk on how Ursula is not a villain. No. <laughs> I will literally have a special episode just for that. You can watch if you want. Shoot out if you don't. She's filming up with it. So that when you're doing it, you're filming it. Oh, my God. Yes. Go home, do your makeup, get a drink, sit in front of the computer. All right, guys. What's yeah. going on? Exactly. This is the truth. Exactly. Do you think it's like all this white makeup? Do you have to like make sure that the contour on it is like really strong? Or do you have to like do it like really strong? This is really flat and round and like kind of not on the side. It's horrible mental anger 
there's any more, more green labs, we'll get to them as we take small little breaks like this. Uh, you guys are being amazing. This is so much fun. <laughs> So silly. It's so ridiculous. So silly. Uh, da -da. All right. No, I'm going to pronounce chat. Jedi McPim says, now that's a maid of honor story waiting to be told what that means. I have no idea. Please explain. Let's figure this one out. Let's move that. Oh, at Mike and uh, Shannon's wedding. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, like, if I'm not in that wedding, something's <laughs> gone terribly wrong. Like, oh, you want to talk about movies that I've seen? I saw Palm Springs. Did you love it? I liked Palm Springs a lot. Okay. Did you? I enjoyed okay. it. I loved the fact that she was the one to be like, all right, I'm done with this. I'm just going to study quantum physics and uh, figure a way out of here. And like legit devoted herself to that. Like the world's foremost experts were like, no, you have a really good grip on this. Like you understand this. <laughs> That's a really good point you just made. Like she just like flexed her way out of uh, like a terrible situation and like took the men along for the ride. Mm -hmm. um, I really liked that part. I thought it was funny. I actually am not a giant Andy Samberg fan. Um, I find his humor tends to be a little too sophomore-ish. Yeah. Um, and like, I've always traveled, like every tour I've ever done has had at least one of those guys. So I'm like, I know that guy. But uh, he was great in it, I thought. I thought he did a fantastic job. It was entertaining, but like I'd seen, I, I'd seen that movie before, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go this route. What did you think of it? I thought it was a lot of fun. Um, again, just there was still some very Lonely Island-esque qualities to some of it, you know, which I was like, oh, really? But then I'm like, oh, you know what? They made it work. Yep. It was way more grounded than a lot of his stuff is, you know? Yeah, it had a little more heart to it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, see. That one. So much fun. We're we're on the search for a, a, a brush right now, guys. I have tons. Of, yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a process. Yeah, it's one of those things that once you start getting into it, you start collecting those palettes, and then you get all the brushes, and then the next thing you know, you've got you know boxes and crates and. So, what was your first concert? The first concert I ever went to was Gloria Estefan oh and the Sound Machine, Miami Sound Machine. It was insane. I'm so jealous. Did you get to go see On Your Feet when it was here a few years ago? No, I didn't. I had a friend that was, uh, uh, he was in, he, I think he was the understudy for the male lead for like her husband. Um, and so I got to go, uh, I took a friend and we were just sitting there like in the back, just like so happy, just like sitting there, just like a kid at Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's so beautifully done. Uh oh. Nothing of importance. Her cat keeps seeing openings to come over to me. So if my head disappears, it's because I'm petting the cat, guys. <laughs> Who is meowing at me for paying attention and not paying attention? That's Pucky. Pucky? Puck, yeah. It is Puck. Like Shakespeare Puck or like Hockey Puck? Um, Hockey Puck. He was the size of a puck when I met him. Oh. And he do such amazing work with the uh, rescues and just, it's one of those things that I really admire about you. Thank you. Yeah. Mm, it comes from a good place. Yeah. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But, but worth it. Look at this guy. Totally worth it. He's so snuggly. I, if I wasn't terrified, I'd lift him up and show you guys. But cats don't tend to like me too much, and this one is going well. Oh, no. Puck's, Puck's so. very <laughs> friendly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just like, bitch, you just knocked me over.
So what was your favorite concert to go to? My favorite concert to go to? Hmm. Um, that's a good question. Um, I went to, I don't know if it was, oh, you know what? Aerosmith. I saw Aerosmith at an outdoor venue and it was a lot of fun. Oh, amazing. Were they headlining or? Co-headlining? They were headlining, but it was like them, Motley Crue. Oh, I forget who else. That sounds so, you don't need anyone Jane's else. Addiction. Jesus. Yeah, it was like this huge outdoor event. How long ago was that? Forever. At least a decade ago. Like yeah. 2006 or seven. It hurts that that's over a decade ago. And I got to go see uh, Jane's Addiction uh, when they toured with uh, Circus Survive and uh, what was it Jane's Addiction? This is really soothing, guys. Um, <laughs> me or the cat? Just you and everything. <laughs> I'm sitting down, I'm having a cat, I'm getting pampered. Um, God, I can't even remember who else was on that tour right now. It was amazing. It was one of those, like, all of my friends from Warp Tour that worked on Warp Tour, like, were a bunch of them were working this tour and they were playing outside of um, Long Island. Uh, one of my best friends to go see it because he was a And uh, <laughs> um, that's how that came into the other day. Um, and uh, we literally rode the train for like three hours to get there because you know, uh, got there, literally walked up. Like one of my friends was like, just put it on the list if they haven't yet. And, uh, and as we're waiting for her to come get us, another friend of mine came over and was like walking in, far, a quarter of a thing, so the front row, like, wristband. And I was like, oh, you know, we better than I thought it was going to be. Now, I just see the Grand concert in 2000. 12 and David Lee Roth creepily asked me in front of a whole crowd at MSG Madison Square Garden uh, if I wanted candy from a stranger <laughs> so Mark Ellis I'm sure is sitting around so jealous right now um, yeah. yeah I got a few of those stories where I'm just like uh, calm down <laughs> They like wrote about it in the paper, and I'm like, if they knew that, like, <laughs> no, if they knew who it was, yeah, yeah, that he was saying it to, this would be a way funnier story, but also humiliating to me. Yeah, cover this. Yeah. Close. Yeah, I went saw. Uh, I was living because I lived in LA from like 2005 to like. Or like mid two thousand four to like two thousand and ten, uh, and I ended up winning like pit tickets to uh, to Weenie Roast, which is like the oh, big. I Boston. know what Weenie Roast is. I have my own Weenie Roast story. Uh, I'll continue. Yeah. Um, but that summer, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, K Rock is the big LA rock station. It's their like kickoff to summer festival that always happens. It's huge. It's amazing and fun and it's well it was back then um but the year that i won those tickets uh motley crew used weenie roast as a way to kick off their red white and crew tour mm. and it was a huge surprise to the audience oh, that's cool and i'm standing front row like against the barricade mm-hmm. and uh nice. some funny interacting happening between me and Vince and that led to me meeting Tommy Lee, like almost nine months later at the hotel cafe. And then he saw me and he's like, wait, I remember you. And I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> but he's like the nicest man. I remember a lot of concerts. I can't remember being able to socialize in public. 
Although now when I watch movies, like this has affected me so much. You're like there's so many people, they shouldn't be together. Like I, yeah, there was like a crowd shot at one point in a movie I was watching. And I was like, mm, distance, stop talking to each other that close. Don't share a drink. Like I was watch, I was watching the uh, the Shire Wolves defense against uh, who's the boss, mm -hmm. and just watching Ben uh, Ben Bateman and uh, Mark Riley pass a flask back and forth. Oh. I was like, no, <laughs> we're gonna get shut down. I know. It was just one of those like, oh god, like this has affected me on a level that I didn't think that it was going to, because one of my love languages is touch. Like I have to like hug people and like hold hands and like you know my friends sit in my lap like we like just physical touch of any kind and now i'm like just going through withdrawals nope like legit this is the most that i've been touched in seven months well hope it's good for you <laughs> <laughs> it is <I'm> like, <laughs> what was your favorite movie growing up I was a big Goonies fan. Like Goonies was one of those movies that was like on repeat all the time at my house. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Disney left our VHS for like twelve years. Mainly because there's like a six year gap between my older sister and my younger sister. We actually named our dog after a character in a Disney movie because we were watching it when he got dropped off at our house. Oh, yeah. We named him Jake because we were watching Rescuers Down Under. Oh. And Jake's the name of the neurotic uh, lizard mm -hmm. that stuck with them from the poacher, which actually I went back and rewatched that movie. That movie is terrifying. terrifying. This is alcohol. You're not going to like this. Oh, Sorry. Right. I'm just trying to clean this up a little bit. I put contacts in my eyes. I'm fine. I just want to give it a clean base. So if I'd have done this before, <laughs> I probably would have been like, hey, I won't paint your under eyes until after I do the rest of this crap because it's going to fall out. But you live and you learn. It's been a while since I honestly have done anything with like the white color. So it's, uh, it's kind of hard to work with, to be honest. Um, Jake says he was very pleasantly surpri surprised by Palm Springs. He went into it not knowing a single thing about it, and that's the way to do it. It really is. I mean, I want my so you know Alex Marzonia. You guys know mm -hmm. Alex Marzonia. He is my roommate. He's also like a huge helper uh, for the Shimano. He's also in the den. Um, and he is notorious for not watching trailers ever. Mm -hmm. Like, he doesn't want to know anything about a movie. He doesn't want to, like, hear anybody's opinion. He doesn't, like, it's unbelievable. So, like, we were, I can't remember what movie we were watching, like, maybe, like, a week or two ago. And, uh, I need to finish the sentence because I have to draw eyebrows. And eyebrows are not easy to draw when you're moving your face around. And she's really expressive, so. I'm a Finish your sentence. He just goes with it. But, yeah. Talk with your hands, not with your <laughs> mouth, Okay. I actually can do a little time, but uh, I'll just not move my upper. Real quiet, guys. I don't have to talk like this. It's last time I went to church. So this is like the part where I kind of have to experiment a little bit. Like when I did uh, Rachel's Hella, that was like all fake eyebrows. Like I had to draw the fake eyebrows on her cause they had to come deep into and make her look angrier than she looks. Cause Rachel just doesn't have a naturally angry face. Anyways. No, but what she did does it is terrifying. I think I saw her angry once and it was more upset. I was still. No, you did it. Don't, don't flinch. You did it. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We're almost done. These aren't going to be the most natural eyebrows you have. <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Just the heads up. To be fair, the eyebrows I have are actually fake anyway. Don't tell you. I'm going to have to clean 
ஞான பௌரக Hmm? Am I pretty, guys? No, not yet. Woohoo! Sure. Not yet, for sure. Love it. Just, just the one is fine. Um, <laughs> yeah. You have to walk out of my building with this on your face. I literally walked out in weirder shit. So now I've got to create the same thing on this side. So that's gonna be an entire one. Holy crap! This is gonna be amazing. I'm losing you. Mm -hmm. Problem is, I'm doing it with a black pencil, and it's not easily erased. Like at least when I did it on Rachel, it was uh, it was mostly regular foundation, which is like it it doesn't move around as much as this shit does. I think we're just going to keep this on. I like my people like that. I like the much easier to like work looking straight on. Right. <laughs> Clean this up now. I'm looking saucy. You're looking something. <laughs> it's a work in progress. <laughs> For sure. Oh, I had my hair pinned up one of my last episodes that Theron was watching. He goes, I'm wigging out. I thought she had like short Captain Marvel hair for the last while. No, it was just pulled back and like swooped over and I'm sorry. Women are very deceptive with their looks, with their makeup and their hair and that. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> it's what we do. We get bored. We play around with it. Yes. All right. Let's see. Yes, Star Drew, you called it. I am going to be made into Ursula, but I promise not to do my TED Talk until later. Were you a Disney girl growing up? Yeah, I was. Going to be every princess possible. That's honestly what I've been doing during quarantine. Is working with like what on the I have like all the studio in here. I might as well do it. Now, this is fun because after it gives us a nice space for girls that have, we call them material versions, you know, you know, they're going to quality, you know. Yeah. Okay. 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 Anything else going on in chat? Uh, Theron says he's going to slip Eddie a 20 for the jukebox and we're good. The little beer crew in here. Oh, okay. What? We're, uh, we were just talking about beer. Guys, what's the score of the baseball game? 
I need to know these type of things. We all know you have another tab open with it on. Yeah, like you're not, <laughs> you're not fooling everyone. We know. Oh, apparently Eddie uh, Haskell was at that show in 2012. What? Uh, the uh, the one at MSG. Oh, really? So funny. Yeah, I had like second row seats. Um, my weenie row story is. I had just moved out to California and I literally like, I was never a big drug person, but again, when I have a lot of social anxiety, someone was like, you should look into weed, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I was experimenting with edibles. I knew I was going to have a lot of social anxiety around that big of a crowd. So my friend was like, yeah, you should definitely bring an edible or two. So I brought them with me. The issue is I panicked at the last minute. When they were like getting ready to check us, like I didn't realize they had security there. And so I was like, oh no, I don't know if this is legal, not legal. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? And so I basically ate a backpack full of edibles by myself oh, at, weenie, no. at, at weenie roast. And then I was like, well, I guess I live in this state now. <laughs> There's a... Uh... It was a disaster. I mean, depending on the edible and your reaction, not a terrible state to it live actually in for a few hours. It actually wasn't. It wasn't bad at all. Um, it was not nearly as terrifying as I anticipated it being. But it could have been bad. That could have gone sideways real fast. Oh, yeah. But at least you got, like, your edibles from, like, you know, somebody you trusted. But not some guy in the parking lot. Exactly. Reminds me, a friend of mine and I went to uh, uh, we went to the Six Flags down here, and uh, we got there early so we could sit in the parking lot and drink a forty. But we forgot can openers or bottle openers, so we learned how to use uh, oh, seatbelts. No. Oh no! To open a beer, that's ingenuity. So uh, I'm not even mad about that. Know how to do that now? I did come in really handy one night, and I really impressed a guy once. By doing that, it was so much fun. Oh, for sure. Is the hair getting purple? I don't think so. I think we're gonna make it white with like hairspray and some baby powder. Yeah. Cause apparently the spray dyes that they sell like in a can uh, with how my hair is would turn it basically like gray, like, like not a pretty gray, like a sad, Sad gray. Uh, oh, she has, yeah, she did, She does have white hair. Purple tentacles. Mm -hmm. Purple body. Fishy sexy. Do you ever see that, like, they were trying to make Ursula thin? They were going through this whole, like, redesign of the characters, and, like, they made mini, like, with, like, four-foot-tall skinny legs. Mm -hmm. It was awful. Then they threatened to do that to Ursula. I'm like, no, you can't do that to Ursula. It's literally who she is. Why is the chatter with that? They're all just like hanging out. They still, no one's told me the score of the game. Yeah, guys, score. Hop to it. Really letting me down here. Let's know if you have any stream labs, guys. Because refresh me. It's funny, as much as a Disney fan as I have always been, I don't think I dressed up as a Disney princess once for Halloween. I was Belle. She's a good one. I know all of her lines. And her choreo. I was Belle. Um, actually, yeah. I 
Makeup? Yeah, it's so funny because I don't feel like I have a very gentle hand. So, like, people who are really sensitive are like, oh, yeah, that's another word that's not used for me. I am not sensitive. I think my older sister kind of destroyed me for that because she used to braid my hair into French braids. Some people are just like tender headed, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. No, she beat that out of me. Because I wrestled when I was in junior high, because you know, girl power, mm -hmm. and uh, no one could tell the girls they couldn't wrestle. So my sister would come over from the high school to my junior high and sit on the, the uh, stage before my matches and like just pull my hair back so that my hairline was like halfway back on my scalp. Oh, it was rough. Stayed in though. Don't <laughs> I'm dragging all this down and I'm like contouring. <laughs> it's so hard, but like that's what I'm talking about. When you wear like a white clown face, it's all about where you apply the other color that you're using. Because mm -hmm. I'm just trying to like pull that in to like that shape that I want to be. I'm trying to make it more into the purplish type family. All right. Now I get to really go nuts. <laughs> you ever think about doing this full time? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's something I do for fun. It's I mean, a blast, but I mean, it's just more for fun. Which is so, actually, it's really refreshing in here because, like, you know, you in should this always day and age, keep something for a hobby. Yeah. Whenever people try to, like, turn their hobby into their job, I'm like, you're going to regret them. You're going to hate it in six months. Yep. Yeah. Because it's one of those things where, like, you know, get to versus have to. Mm -hmm. Big difference. Yeah. I was talking with uh, Inman about that. About how some days you're just like, oh, I have to do this. And it's like everybody else that said is like, oh my God, you get to do this amazing thing. Like uh, perspective. Mm -hmm. Same time. <laughs> so how many years did you go down to a Comic-Con? I've never been down to Comic-Con. I did the one up here in LA. Um, I like the one up I like the one up here too. It's like the other one, but again, less people. So you know that appeals to me. Mm -hmm. Also closer. Yeah, of course. I mean, there is something fun about, you know, riding the train down and. No, no, there's not. If you lived in New York, there's nothing fun about that commute. It's fucking the train. No. I ended up sitting next to the same woman on the train two years in a row. That's funny. And then I got... You were like, save me a seat? No, like, the first time we, we like, literally just became friends. And, like, we talked the entire time. Um, and then last year, I hopped on at Glendale. And she hopped on at Union Station. And we just laughed. literally, like, sat down next to me, and we just looked at each other and just started cracking up because, like, it was not planned at all. She just saw an open seat, and uh, she just sat. To, it was it was just one of those like amazing, perfect, neat, cute kind of deals. But she's like one of my favorite people. Now we we literally like catch up now. So yesterday was the day that we would have you know, ridden the train together. Mm -hmm. So I like sent her a DM on uh, Instagram and I was like, Hey, how you doing? Let's hop on sometime and like catch up because you know, it's our yearly catch up time. Mm -hmm. She was like, last I heard she was like building a trailer and she was going to like travel over the U.S. and she was going to, it was amazing. I think that's what I like about Comic-Con. 
It's just like the random people you meet or like the people that you haven't seen in a while you just like t run into. Yeah, it's fun. Like just any of those environments are fun. I went to C2E2. That was the last thing I think I went to. Oh, yeah. I went to C2E2. I ran into Jay there. And I remember we were like this, the coronavirus thing was just starting to like be talked about. And I was like, should we really be here right now? <laughs> That's when they were doing the uh, play reveal. Yep. For AW. And those things are coming out soon. Yeah, they're really cool. We need like a whole, we need like the whole set. <laughs> And like one of those, it's like right underneath your eye, really, just oh. to keep the fallout. Mm -hmm. And one of those, you know, play rings. I think the Young Bucks ones are my favorite because Dana took so much care in designing their clothes. They're so realistic. You haven't seen the Young Bucks clothes, but they all look. They did such a good job with their stuff. All right, switch. Switch eyes. And then I'm going to have you put mascara on for me. Okay. I know, Papa. <laughs> I know, Pucky. Pucks like I know. Humans here and no one is petting me. <laughs> no, he gets weird right around this time because the light starts coming in. Oh. And so... There's a lot of like reflections. He starts chasing them around the house. There we go. All right, go put some mascara on. I'm gonna go clean it up some more. Okay. Hmm. Uh, where is it? Hmm? Mascara. Oh. <laughs> Oh, uh, Yankees are up three to one. Stanton two run home run. So now, yeah, I saw that. I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh Jesus! I mean, I know what it means. Like I play softball, but I don't know whose team Stanton's on. It's been so long since I've been able to like actually enjoy pro sports and like keep up with things because you know you spend ten ten months out of the year on tour and shit like that, and then everything. Is Weird. <laughs> what, Papa? Top and bottom or just up? Um, top and bottom. Okay. There's still so much to do. Yeah. I know, Pucky. I know, Puck. Look is the unofficial third guest of today. Yes, very chatty. Just given all the information, spilling all that tea. I know. See? Oh, hi. As you can't see, but Puck's trying to crawl up in my lap. Well, oh, Puck's too much boobs. Hockey. <laughs> You're telling me. It's all of them Hockey. everywhere. All set? I know. You are just causing a mess, aren't you, today? Yeah. All right. He's so pretty. He's uh, all right, set that back up now. Sorry about that. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> I just looked down. I was like, "That's all boobs." Sorry, guys. Um, hey, Dean. We're uh, we're making me into Ursula because we're we can't be at Comic Con and, and uh, hanging out. So, <laughs> wow, this is interesting. Why not? It's so cool. It's so much. Still a lot to go. Yeah. But then again, like when I watch my old matches and then I see that my makeup that I thought that I put on with a trowel like barely shows up, I'm like, oh, okay. Yep, exactly. Hi. See? Okay. Oh, hi. Uh, down. Just kind of like look over there. Close a little bit. Open. Yeah. It looks way less crazy the minute you start plugging lashes and stuff into it. I'm like, oh, thank God. Oh, yeah. Like, I even need to be reassured. I'm like, oh, am I doing this right? Oh, it looks amazing. Now, I can never tell until it's done. But I would felt the same way about Brian's uh, Harley Quinn. Brian's Harley Quinn was amazing. 
I went to Fan Expo, but it was in two years ago. Oh! <laughs> Ron, you're such a rock star. <laughs> Are you at the game? What are you doing? Huh? Ron posted, he goes, I got a 60 year old teacher to shotgun her first beer. I had to shotgun one with her. Oh, he recorded it and sent it to her daughter. Where is it? <laughs> I don't know. Thrawn, if y'all are worried about us social distancing, get the fuck out of here. Thrawn, where are you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All of a sudden, there's a whole bunch of bandit, brand, bandit brigade in here. Hi, Heather. Jake's like, I'm guessing Goddard just stopped streaming. <laughs> oh, Probably. Kind of look like out that way. Oh my God, such aggressive purring. Let it kind of chill for a second before you like move it around too much. Mm -hmm. This cat is just full of love. Oh my gosh. He's a lot. It's been so long. I think the last cat I pet was PJ's. I oh. Don't while ago. He's shedding so much too because I brushed him um, like two nights ago watching the old guard. He really enjoys it. But don't knock all that out, Puck. Yeah. He just almost like clotheslined himself with uh, the mic cord. So then Comic Con must have been your favorite time of year. Um. Like I said, it wasn't necessarily Comic Con as much as it was. Well, the time of year. Yeah. Just because no one's here in LA no. and the industry is really nice and slow. And exactly. It's kind of chill. And the trick is <laughs> one pair of fake lashes. Is never enough when you're on camera. Oh my gosh. When you're doing like crazy makeup like this, you should always do two pairs of lashes, gentlemen. Oh my God. That's gonna be so pretty. And usually two different lines. Hold on, don't talk. Let that sit there for a second. Don't move. Don't hmm? move. Come on. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. I just feel like I'm trying. Like it's it's that same feeling of like don't move, sit very still, do like don't, don't breathe, just sit. Oh, we used to do the, that for. Uh, Getting ready for cheerleading competitions when I was in high school. Gosh, is there anything you didn't do? Mm -hmm. No, not really. <laughs> not all four years of high school. Do you ever play sports? Um. Eh, I just watch them. I don't play. I don't think my body was not built for playing sports. Let's see. What's your favorite to watch? Um, I really like baseball. Baseball and um, football are like my two. Yeah, I love baseball. I used to work at the uh, San Jose Giants minor league stadium. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was so much fun. We get there. We have to get there early to like clean off like the club seats, and you know the teams would be out there playing and like or just warming up. And because I played softball for nine years, uh, one of the guys like he hit a foul ball like in the weirdest like it, it went out and curled back and like yeah, went over. 
<laughs> and they stuck or no? Just a little on the inside. Pull it apart, just pull it away because I just don't want to put my hands in your eyeballs. Good? Yeah. Um, but he hit a foul ball like back over the retention mm -hmm. uh the screen and it like went right up to the top level. So I walked up to get it for him and they're like, oh just like come down and like you don't have to throw it from there. And I'm like, I can throw it to the outfield from here. It's fine. So I threw it straight back to the pitcher. They're like, what? I'm like, guys. They're like, come on. Like, please. Okay. It's not that hard. Trying to keep this as like clean as possible. It's coming together. Ooh. It's coming together. Oh my god! What? Yes, I have never seen this many eyelashes on my body. <laughs> Like, I feel like half my vision is gone because that's one of those things. Let me look up. I'm sorry. Half your vision's gone? It, it feels like it's they're like weighing down my. No. You get used to it. This is like standard for me now. Now <laughs> I feel naked when I don't have two. Because when you look at it on camera, especially in like dark arenas and stuff, it oh, just okay. doesn't, it doesn't translate the same way. Oh, fuck. Thank you. When did you, okay. when did you start reporting on uh, sports? Started working in sports directly out of college. So I got offered a full-time job with ESPN when I was in college. And I was like, bye. <laughs> um, so I finished up working on the road actually I ended up the job with ESPN didn't pan out but I ended up working on the road for Sports Illustrated and I was covering college sports and doing college homework whenever I was done and that's how I finished my degree was I just did everything on the road what's going on in the comments no anything fun apparently there's a delay in the game oh god why in an epic rainstorm no, we're part of the course. Yeah, apparently there was some crazy storm that hit the East Coast a few nights ago. Like, oh, yeah. lightning, rumbling, and... Everybody's like, that's so crazy. I'm like, that's so Florida. I'm like, you guys have never seen what I've seen. And my sister calls me every day, or we talk about every day, and she'll be like, oh, yeah, it's raining. I'm like, well, it's 3 o'clock, so, I mean, yeah. Those are always our... our the worst days of warped tours when we rolled through Florida. So it was always so hot and muggy. And then for some reason, everyone still got surprised every year when it rained. Man, it's no. rain is so wet. And you're like, duh, it's rain. <laughs> it's rain. It's, it's water, guys. We did have one year, though, that uh, one of our guys ended up getting struck by lightning. What? Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. He, uh, I mean, he's doing fine now. He was he 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 was fine. He you know they took him to the hospital just to make sure he's he was there for a few days for observation. Sent him home to rest. Like he's fine. He's he's on the Billy Eilish tour. Like he's her tour manager. It's fine. He's doing okay. Yeah, he's 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 not he's doing just fine. But uh, but he came back at one point uh to visit the tour. I think we were doing the California dates towards the end of the year or towards the end of the summer. And he came out, and everybody got right the lightning t-shirts. Oh, God. <laughs> he loved it. They're like, yeah, cool. It's funny. It's hilarious, guys, right? Because I almost died. It's, it's so funny. funny. It's funny because he lived. It would have been tragic if he had died. Exactly. <laughs> you guys. You guys are so funny. Because yeah, I almost died. Mm, I get it. I mean, he was making jokes like as they were carting him off to the hospital so, after it happened. So we were like, of course, it's fine. You're like, he'll be okay. <laughs> like, oh, he's making jokes? Oh, yeah, he'll be just fine. That was the summer that Real Big Fish was on tour, and they would always play right around the time that we would have to close uh, the nonprofit area where I worked that summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
So it all get like roped off and, you know, they tell people like, it would be like caution tape, like don't go in this area. And these asshole kids would still like always duck underneath to run through. And it was ridiculous. But every day at just about 545, they would play everyone else as an asshole. And everybody that worked in that area would just scream that song out because we just hated people so much. All right. I might have to go run to the other room to grab a color. Okay. I realize I didn't have. Stall, stall. <laughs> Haskell says, yes, Jen, epic lightning storm here in Long Island and NYC. And the video of the Statue of Liberty getting struck. That's oh, right. Yeah, that was not I'm in Northport on Long Island and the sky was lighting up like crazy. Oh we were talking about the train like 20 minutes ago. That's where the teacher fest happened on the train because there's a, what, Bob, where are you, Thrawn? I am so confused right now. That's so funny. Add in all the thunder because it was God's bully night. Dude, I miss. Dude, I've, I've been involved in, uh, in some epic thunderstorms, and it's just, there's nothing like it. It's so cool. It's one of my favorite things. Like, I'm, that's one of the things that I, that's, that you miss by living in California. Like, everything's super pretty, and, you know, the, the weather's always gorgeous, but that's the issue is the weather's always gorgeous. Um, so there's no like big thunderstorms, hardly ever. There was some earlier this spring, which were amazing. Um, I was talking about how I, this is one of the things that I, I, it makes me sad about California, about living here is that like, there's no, like there's hardly any epic thunderstorms. I oh, know. Like there's just something. Everybody gets so excited when there's lightning here. Yeah. So jazz. It's so pretty. I'm gonna overdraw this a little bit. Not like crazy. I still want it to. So funny, whatever I put looks like on it, I feel like it makes my mouth look small. Okay. Like small? Mm hmm. Hmm. It's because you always want to kind of overdraw. And this is like our first layer of lipstick. <laughs> this will look way this will be way easier for me to see what I'm actually doing like once I get like the the basic part of it done which is this and then I'll go back over and Be able to work from there. It's so much fun finding pieces for this cosplay. Oh, really? <laughs> I gotta tell you, I was like dying to do this. Well, you always like the trick to good cosplay is always making sure, like. It's stuff you already own, you know what I mean? Yes. Like that you can repurpose. Like Emma Fife is really good at that. Yeah, I mean. Nope, don't. No. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, it's easy to do cause it cosplay when you like have an actual like full real person wardrobe. Yeah, exactly. But I'm no, go ahead. I'm playing. I'm playing catch up because I, you know, had to live with tour clothes for exactly a decade plus. Red is such a tricky, tricky color. Mm -hmm. Cause if you don't get the outline right, it looks insane. Fuck you know. <laughs> no, no, Puck. No, no, Puck a duck. All right, all these brushes gotta go over here, but clean them. <laughs> Sanitary. So guys, did the game get, are they still on hold right now or? On hold, probably. Now there's something amazing about just like getting to go to a baseball game. That, right now? I, no, just like, I mean, you know, back when you could, when, you know, life was real and not this insane thing that we're living through right now. But uh, we had, I remember we had a day off on work tour and we were in Kansas city and I ended up going Smell. to uh, to a Royals game. Mm -hmm. uh, and we ended up on the, on, on the Titan Tron or whatever. Mm -hmm. They're like real big fish. And then there's like 10 other people that nobody knows. I don't even think anybody who was at the stadium knew who we were. Okay. They're like, yay. That's all they care about. Huh? It's coming along. It's like looking more <laughs> and more like what I needed to. It like doesn't cooperate there for a while, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, that's starting to look where I needed it. Yeah. Like when you go to clean your room and it just looks awful while you're doing it. And then all of a sudden, like oh. randomly, it like starts looking so much better. And you're like, oh, you just have to get a oh, certain okay. thing done. Exactly. You can chop, I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> you can chop, yeah, it's fine. Oh. I'm just crack my neck at some point. Oh, well, it's so nice out. Like, so funny. I spent so much of my day just like, especially now the tournament's been announced, just like staring at a screen, mm -hmm. studying, watching movies. Like, it's so nice out today. Like it's perfect. Like 70 degrees. Clouds in the sky. So the sports like your big love. Mm -hmm. Is that like your 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 the thing that you love the most? Uh it was, and then I made it my job. <laughs> Fair. That's why I said, just yeah. make sure, you know? That's why I think I, I, that's why I think the Schmodown felt like a good place for me because it doesn't feel like work and I love movies. What are some of your favorites? Movies? Mm -hmm. I'm very much an 80s baby, so I like all that stuff, you know, like the Back to the Futures, the Pretty in Pink. And eh, not as much Pretty in Pink as I do. More the action adventure side. Mm -hmm. Point break. Um, do me a favor. Like make the top area of your like upper lip a little longer. Like close your lips. 
a little bit. Yeah, perfect. Without mm. without making it. Exactly. <laughs> That's why I'm like when I catch myself smiling at people, I'm like, I'm smiling, I'm smiling. Yeah. You tell, I'm smiling. Get eyes, smile on my face, but wearing a mask. Sorry, that doesn't do it. I had a friend give me a coloring book once. So relaxing. Yeah, this is what this, that's what this is. This is human co this is coloring on faces. Oh, Eric says, if I'm ever in a pay-per-view level match, I might have to ask Jen to apply some more paint. Yes. This is William Wallace it. I mean, I feel like we should no matter what. I was going to do a really cool look for Smet. Um, but well, but um, he ended up not getting booked in New York, and then I got sick anyway, so it was like it all worked out. But then COVID happened, so the match that I was supposed to do it for didn't happen, and it's like, oh, now it's happening in two weeks. Smets? Yeah, yeah. We're getting there. It's almost done. Thank God. Yeah. Wow. So. If I was doing this for cosplay purposes, I would do all your chest. Mm -hmm. But I'm just like for <laughs> for uh, all intents and purposes, this is amazing. Guys, look at that. This is insane. The extra lashes really give it something. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, she is. You know. Can you? I need you to do one thing for yourself, just because yes. I don't like doing it. Well. Especially with right now. Can you just do you know how to line your waterline? Yes. Just do that. Without touching your face the whole time, just because it'll move that white around and I have to set it. I've got contacts for 20 years now. I can do this without even touching my face. Oh, there we go. Now I can open my eyes. Perfect. The outer corners are getting stuck. Yep. Mm -hmm. I almost want to call up Christian and be like, okay, so my match is right now. Let's do this. <laughs> almost. You're like, this is, it's fun. It's fun makeup, Christian. Let's do it. <laughs> I don't think Liz would be too excited, but. <laughs> you know, sometimes we all have to make sacrifices. Hmm. There. Okay. I didn't realize that the outside corners of my eyes had gotten stuck down. And now I can open my eyes fully. I feel so much better. <laughs> <laughs> what? I love it. Very drag queen-esque. Well, considering that Ursula was designed after Divine. Exactly. It just... <laughs> What was that one drag queen that she, she 
she hosted a TV show back in the day. She had like these crazy cat eye glasses with like sequins all over them. That's every drag queen ever. <laughs> no, she was on TV in like the 80s and 90s though. Oh, I can't remember. Oh, guys in the chat, I know you know who. It's not uh, RuPaul. No, it's not RuPaul. She was white and older. Hmm. But I know you know what I mean. Sorry, Puck. Somebody's talking about how... You hmm. picking up the hammer? What's going on, guys? Dave Edna, yes, thank you. My dad loved her. He thought that she was hilarious. And yes, I said she, she said she was. Ryan, yes, Jen did Rachel's for Galadriel. Right? Oh, what? Didn't she do? Rachel Cushing's makeup for Galadriel? Was that a He says, who wants to bet imaginary money that there's a weapon vault behind the switchblade? <laughs> I'm at Jen's place, so I don't, I can't say anything about that. But at my place, mm, probably, yeah. Woo, look at that body. I feel like I should just throw a dress on when I get home and just like, Lounge out. Listen to Bobby Darren. <laughs> yes, Jedi McPimp. It does suck having nice weather all the time. Too much of a good thing, you know the thing? Oh, they were talking about, got it. So Eric was saying that, you know, Maybe uh, if he is ever in a pay-per-view for you to do war paint on him and he has that hammer. They're wow. like, only if she gets to pick up the hammer. They're like, Jen is always worthy. That's so funny. So funny. <laughs> All right, guys, any stream left? Any questions for Jen or me? Okay. How's everybody been doing? I haven't spoken to you guys in a week. You guys all good? This is a little outside of the ordinary. I wonder if my tattoos would show up through the makeup. Probably. That would be interesting though, right? We need a, we need a Disney character that's tattooed and not Maui. We need like a female character. Cause it's like socially acceptable in that society for him to be tattooed yeah. and for the woman. I have no idea where we got these things, though. So, so, uh, there's, there's just a few in here. I've got a few in my bag in. Yeah. We're going to be roughing it. I'm see what I can pull off here. At least your hair's not heavy. <laughs> no. So that's working in my favor. But I would always rather err on the side of caution. Oh, yeah. So I have very thin, fine hair. Did you have bobby pins or do you have uh, hair ties? I have bobby pins. Four bobby pins. You'd be amazed. Women, women understand, but men. You'd be amazed what you can do with four bobby pins. Let's 
Okay. Yes, Ryan, that's what I meant. Beyond the Seat by Bobby Darren. How have you been rocking this, like, the faux hawk style that you've been doing lately? Oh, um, usually tease the crap out of the crown, and then you just pomp up the front and pin the back, or pin the sides. Pin the sides? Okay. Yeah. Ooh. See, this is where I would rather do, like, little baby ponytails. <laughs> but I don't think I have any little baby ponytail holders so I'm gonna have to get creative well it's not like it's like a it needs to be a functioning thing it just needs to be able to like sit sit <laughs> yeah exactly yeah i'm not about to go on stage with this or anything were you ever like a like a musical theater like stage performance person no i just did glee <laughs> I did Glee before it was cool to do Glee, you know? Yeah. But Glee's still like really rooted in, you know, all of musical theater. Yeah. Actually, I actually had a friend who was a music supervisor on the last few seasons. Yeah. Is that like the most cursed production in Hollywood right now? Dude, I, Glee is like seeing Macbeth in a theater at this point. Like you just don't, it's just so, it's so sad. Like, is it like Final Destination? <laughs> it's so sad. Like, are, are we living through Final Destination right now? Is that what's going on? It feels like it. It does. That's where we're at. Somebody posted one of uh, her old tweets that was like, you know, just seeing the good in people and all this. And they posted like her last picture that she posted on Instagram. And it was just like the most beautiful little like tribute. tribute. And she's like, oh, so young and so beautiful. And just like, so you crazy. always got to be careful what you, what your last post is on Instagram. <laughs> Don't let it be like a really unflattering photo with you of you. <laughs> They're gonna be like, look, look what she was doing just three days ago. She was so happy. <laughs> Guys, I will say this. If my last photo is of me dressed up as Ursula, no, I died happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I went I went the way I wanted to. Dressed up like the queen of the ocean. Let's do this. <laughs> so funny. I mean, she really is kind of my hero. <laughs> like she went out the way she would want. Mm-hmm. 100%. Well, this isn't too bad considering I don't have a lot of body pins. Like, there's some more. Yeah, I don't know. Still, like, I'm like, I'm doing this, like, so. This is very close to uh, Zoya. Yeah. It's very close to what I did for Brienne for Zoya. But, man, yeah, it takes work. Can you imagine if I could get Nick Mundy to let me do this? How hilarious would that be? Legit, the instant that you said the words Nick Mundy, my There's heart some, cause, became cause, so happy. Because Nick Mundy, every character he does is the same. They're just, they just yell a lot, you know? Yeah. And Ursula's not really a yeller, so that would just not be. It would be funny fun. because she's not a yeller. He yeah. would just be yelling like a trucker, <laughs> but dressed as Ursula. I know? mean, if anybody in the Disney universe is a trucker, it's probably Ursula. <laughs> Low key. That's what, like, you didn't know that you needed to know, but you now you do. <laughs> if Ursula had legs, she would be driving 18 wheelers. Ursula, the large marge of the ocean. <laughs> Holy shit, this looks amazing. It's coming along. Like I said, there's things that I would do a little differently. Like, if I, like, if this was our dress rehearsal, I'd be like, okay. So I need to like do some more stuff because I always do like I always do like a preemptive let's uh let's figure it out type thing, you know? Like one thing I would do is I would probably take the color into your hair just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. I feel free, Ian. 
I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, I know. You're just going to have purple roots. Because I feel like it's more fun. Oh, Jedi McPhipps says, I miss Mundy. He was my favorite movie fighter for me. He was really good. <laughs> Jake. Damn, Jen killed it. It's coming along, yet, guys. It's coming along. It's almost done. Freaking amazing. So I'm like. <laughs> Saul says I'm 77% certain that I'm going to do my hair like this for spectacular. <laughs> Somebody what? screenshot that. What? It's from Saul. Oh. I was like, what did I miss? What did I miss? Saul wants to do his hair like this for spectacular. <sighs> Better book me in advance, bud, because there's a there's a long line. Woo! Long line. Let's see. This is not the color we need. It's gonna be interesting to see when we can finally get back to live events. I don't know when that's gonna be. I uh, don't know when does. I do love that Christian posted today. He's like, I miss live events. I'm like, buddy, me too. We all do. Like, we've all formed a family over this. We're not getting to see each other. I will say, I don't enjoy spectacular as much as a live event because I like it more when it's like a hangout sesh for everybody else. It's kind of like our, like our end of the year party yeah. thing. So it's like. It being a live event is exhausting. Same for free for all. It's like, yeah, I think we all enjoy the interaction of it all. Yeah, I like free for all because it's not so. It's it's one of those for, as a competitor. It's like this is your time to go on. Whatever you do afterwards or whatever. Like I, I mean, I was really happy to go and to be the first one out because I was like, great, now I get to hang out with my friends all day and yeah, exactly. Like. When you when you get put in the first round with Bibiani and Cushing and like, Meyer, well, it's I was been real guy. Yeah, Cushing gave me my number, and I was like, "Cool, thanks. I know exactly what I'm leaving first round." <laughs> like, thanks for the vote of confidence. Bye. Yeah, I can't wait for the next free for all, though. Honestly, now that I'm not a rookie, mm -hmm. it's so much more fun. Because I did free for all with only one match under my belt. That was insane. That's a tough environment to go into. Yeah, it is. Like, just in general. And then you add the crowd. Oof. The crowd was great. And I love that theater. The Globe. Man, that place is gorgeous. All right. Yes. All right. So they said just to sprinkle this? Yeah. All right. You want me to let's move off the couch? <laughs> yeah. Let's LeBron James the shit. Um, actually, I'm just going to give you a towel. Okay. I'm sitting on her chair. We don't want to get baby powder all over it because that looks awful. I mean, it wouldn't smell, so that's kind of a nice thing. Huh? I, I, was, I was explaining, though. I'm like, yeah, you know, we're trying to figure this out. I mean, nobody wants baby powder all over their uh, couch, although it wouldn't smell, so. No, exactly. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Have you seen those videos of people trying to do like 16th century hair? And they have to like put, you're supposed to put like cow fat in your hair, like tallow, and then put like a shit ton of this stuff in. And I'm like, nope. I would never survive that time. I'm like, I'm basically antiquing you right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I like this, but okay. <laughs> I'm not doing your whole fucking head like this. It's okay. just not happening. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say I appreciate that. <laughs> I don't know how easy it's going to be to watch out. Plus, it's like, it works, but it's also like, I have to put so much of this in your hair. Yeah. To get the effect that I want, that I'm like, oh, I'm not fucking having it right now. Let me tease this a little more. Where'd my, right here. And I was like, where'd it go? We 
Wait, The Rock officiated Monday at his wedding? Yeah. What? Yeah. Don't just call me. It's crazy. So weird to think, like, how long I've been following his career. Because, like, I grew up a wrestling fan. Like, my dad wanted boys. He got three girls. Um, so he raised us all like crazy wild little boys. And uh, I remember when The Rock first came on and he had hair. Oh, yeah. And, like, going back and seeing those pictures, you're like, that's not The Rock. Like, you know, this would work on Broadway. This makeup would oh, work. Oh, 100%. I actually, I'm actually with friends with one of the women who was Ursula on the tour. Oh, funny. And she was actually, uh, have you watched the uh, the live if stage? If you do Ursula, you got to come out straight up chain smoking. Like, listen, uh, listen, fish girl. <laughs> like, listen, like sugar if, tits. Like if Ursula was played by Roseanne before she became incredibly racist, you know? Or Estelle from, uh, uh, from Friends. All right. Je Ta-da. This is amazing, guys. Check this out. But like I said, if I did this again, I would probably get you some, we would probably get some hair extensions to like oh, yeah. thicken this up in the front. And we would likely build this a little bit more so it's a little bigger. Ooh. Um, just because your hair is so fine. I had no idea. So thin. Yeah. But I think yeah. otherwise, it reads really well on camera. It's really so fun. Amazing. This is how I did Brienne's look when she did her Harley Quinn, you know? Very similar. Anyways, hope you guys have had fun watching this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a blast. Hey, I can't believe it's... It's not bad for a first try. It's you true. Know? That's like when I did Stacy's makeup for Edward Scissorhands. I'd never done Stacy's makeup. like, And I was doing fake scars all over her face and all Wait, kinds of stuff. Which one? I did Stacy's Edward Scissorhands. Oh, my God. I forgot about that one. Yeah. So like, But I would take like stuff like this. So if anybody's like curious, it's kind of weird. So you'd get this stuff that's like a fake scar. Hopefully this is still good. Who knows? Maybe it's not good anymore. Oh, damn. That sucks. So anyways, you get this stuff, though, and it basically comes out like a clear kind of glue, but it comes out in a straight line, and then you blend the edges down a little bit, and then you paint it with, like, flesh-colored but a little bit darker, and it turns out like these big calloused scars. It's really cool. Harley. That's a bummer. I gotta get more scar stuff. Oh, wow. Anyways, gosh. this is nuts, guys. Any final questions? Yeah. We're going to wrap this up, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> wasn't your typical podcast, but you know what? No, but it looks, <laughs> Eric says it looks amazing. And fun, right? Fun. It's so much fun. So silly. Hair on point for the Amadeus movie. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Shut up. Same. It, you know, it's the same. It's the same. So you concept. can take this home and wash it and keep it because okay. I just I'm not reusing sponges on people. Obviously, <laughs> during the times of COVID, you can't really wash a sponge good enough, in my opinion. So. Yeah, you can soak that thing in bleach, and I'm still like, no, that's good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> same uh, my mascara. Like that's, it's an old thing. Yeah. Jedi McPimp says, "I want him to do my hair normally. I'd finally be a stud." <laughs> Hey, you know, I'm not a miracle worker. But... <laughs> yes, Weston, this is the Swings and Misses studio because I came over. It for is. It. It All is. right, guys, one last check for Streamlabs, and then I'm going to close it out with my tried and true lovely dovey uh, last question of all time. All right, refresh, refresh. All right, nothing new. So, uh, thank you, Dean. Yes, it looks great. I just sat here. It's all Jen. Um, uh, so one of my favorite movies of all time is um, Almost Famous. Mm -hmm. And I love the way that the movie ends with William finally getting to ask the question, do you have to be happy to write a happy, or do you have to be happy to write a love song? Do you have to be sad to write a sad song? What is it that you love about music? What is it that I love about music? I love, I, I, I think that, music is so important to movies in a way that you can't have one without the other in terms of like when I think of soundtracks like they one of my favorite things to do is listen to movie soundtracks because I can physically like feel what's going on in the movie just based on the soundtrack itself mm -hmm. but 
I don't know. I'm. What was the question? Fuck. What is it you love about oxygen music? <laughs> what um, is it you love about music? It's honestly, it's been my safe place. You know, whenever I've had any kind of depression or self doubt, I have always been kind of musically inclined, and so I used music as like a way of coping with like my loneliness in high school and things like that. And before that, you know. It was one of those things where my parents tricked me into going to therapy. They were like, hey, if you uh, go to therapy, we'll let you have music lessons. Oh. So, of course, I was like, I really wanted to learn how to play the piano. So they used it as a way of, like, learning me into therapy. But I got to also do piano lessons. So I always thought it was like a kind of therapy teacher, you know? Mm-hmm. So, and I love how every time I ask them, it's just from every Yeah, I not a thing. Uh-huh. 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 All right, guys, next week, um, I do know what time it's going to be. It's going to be a little on the later side because the next guest, um, I guess next week, that is going to be amazing. Kate Mulligan. So Aww, the Dead Mom's cool. going to come on. Yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, You're going to hang out. It's going to be ridiculous. There will be probably at least a bottle or two of wine involved oh, God. on her side. Whiskey on mine. Uh, we'll see. We'll figure it all out. But you guys are the best. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, ring the bell. Um, all of Jen's information is listed right down here. Follow Thank her. It's you. all in the description. Tune in to Swings and Misses. It is fucking hilarious. Um, Thank you, guys. And uh, give me a thumbs up on All Elite Wrestling YouTube page and tell them how awesome I am. Yeah, dude. Tag Tony Khan and uh, <laughs> and Cody and let them know how much you absolutely love and adore her. Stop. Because we do and we love. We want to make sure that they love her as much as we do. You guys are so funny. So, yeah. you guys are the best. I love you. Um, We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. And awkward dance party because I don't have exit music.